Welcome back guys, welcome to a new video today. We are going to learn all about the FSX 2020's PC requirements. So what GPU, what CPU, RAM storage, all of that computer related stuff will be covered in this video. If you like the video, please leave a like down below because I really, really appreciate that. I love creating stuff and I hope you love my content too. So let's get to the video. So Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 hasn't been released yet and Microsoft hasn't shared any of the details regarding CPU or GPU. So I thought let's take X-Plane 11 for reference and see what the minimum requirements and recommended requirements are over there. So to run X-Plane 11 you need at least a DirectX 11 capable video card from Nvidia or EMD with 512 megabytes of VRAM. So for the CPU anything that has more than two cores would be enough. You need 8 gigs of RAM and at least 20 gigs of free disk space. So that last one wasn't really correct because when I downloaded X-Plane 11 for the first time from Steam it was at least 60 gigabytes. So now let's go to the recommended that the thing you actually need to pay attention to. So for for a video card you need at least a DirectX 12 capable video card from Nvidia or AMD with 4 gigs of VRAM. In terms of a CPU you need at least a Intel Core i5 at 3.5 gigahertz or faster. In terms of RAM you need at least 16 gigabytes of that. So now the free disk space again it says here 20 gigabytes but I can assure you when you first install it it is going to be 60 gigabytes or greater. That's just because you installed probably the entire world so every continent in the world. In the normal version of X-Plane 11 I guess it is going to be 20 gigabytes but then you only only have like all the planes and just one airport so now that we covered that i think we should go in the actual specifications for microsoft flight simulator 2020 that i personally think should be enough to run the sim at 30 frames per second at 1080p so let's take a closer look at the storage so microsoft has already said that they are going to stream two petabytes of storage on scenery to your sim if you don't really know what i mean by that i've already covered this subject in my last video which went really good by the way so if you're curious to see the estimated price of fsx 2020 check it out right after this one by clicking the cards in the top right corner so to put two petabytes into perspective you will need at least 2000 of those one terabyte normal hard drives which is just basically impossible to get for the normal consumer so as i already said microsoft has a solution for that they are going to store those two petabytes of storage on their servers and they are going to stream it to every single simmer in the world so this has a few benefits microsoft flight simulator 2020 will be a lot smaller in size and you will get some high quality scenery so that's it for the storage let's go to the video card the main thing people want to know so we do have a little bit of leaked information a few months ago there was a preview event on microsoft flight simulator 2020 and people said that the sim was running on a 2080 ti and i can completely understand that the 2080 ti is possibly the best graphics card you can get right now in the market so why would microsoft use it but i personally think if you get one of the newer graphics cards so like a gtx 1660 ti you should be absolutely fine fine but if you do have a little bit more of money to spare i would really recommend the rtx 2060 that's my personal video card and i'm really really happy with that link is in the description along with my other gear so if you want to check that out click the links down below so now i've got a quick question for you what gpu do you think would be great for microsoft flight simulator leave it down in the comment section below i'm really curious so now on to the cpu i personally think that the cpu isn't going to be the bottleneck so the same as explain 11's recommended tab i believe an i5 would be enough How However, if Microsoft releases some new information regarding specs and they say it is going to be more CPU demanding, then you may need to go to an i7. But this is just something we cannot really estimate right now. So now onto the RAM, I think 16GB should be enough for a smooth experience. Just a quick disclaimer, if we take the visuals we've seen on all of the clips in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, just assume that this is on the highest preset. So you might be able to run the sim no problem with your current system, but with less visuals of course. That's all for me guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like down below, comment down below what you think about the specifications regarding Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!